Bradley Oxendine now facing consequences. He had never been in trouble until November of last year. He admits he robbed two Maryland banks. His image caught by surveillance camera, brandishing a gun, jumping over the counter and demanding money. He's accused of a similar bank robbery in West Virginia while out on bail. It's unbelievable to me that someone would start using opiates at 39, who has a long and successful career in the construction industry. But according to Oxendine's attorney, Jack Turnbull, that's exactly what happened. He said, I felt like I had a demon that had his claws in me, and he didn't really know where to turn. He didn't know where to ask for help. He didn't go to friends or family. The need for cash to buy heroin fueled his crimes. A co-worker said, hey, try this. And within a year, he had been accused of robbing two banks in Baltimore County, now convicted, and also accused of a similar charge in West Virginia. And it just is amazing to me that in a year to 18 months, someone can fall apart that quickly. Oxendine participated in the November 2015 robbery of the Chesapeake Bank on Joppa Road in Parkville. And then 11 days later, he and an accomplice hit the now closed First Mariner Bank on Security Boulevard in Woodlawn. During sentencing, he told the judge, quote, I am not a bad person. I know what I did was wrong. And I never experienced anything like this in my life. It's destroyed my family. It's ruined my life. The defense and the prosecution say they are seeing more and more similar cases. There does seem to be a growing epidemic of uh, opioid and heroin in particular related crimes. Um, just in the number of um, uh, bank robberies, thefts, and uh, very importantly, um, overdoses. Judge John Nagel sentenced Oxendine to 10 years in prison, followed by three years of probation. If he gets in trouble during that time, then he has another five years to serve in jail. And he still faces those charges in West Virginia. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBIL-TV, 11 News.